Nearpod is excited to announce that we now support student audio submissions. Let's say you're creating a lesson on the vocabulary word emulate. When you add an open-ended question activity, you'll now have the ability to enable student audio submissions. Simply turn the toggle on and enter in your prompt. This new feature will work for both live and student-paced lessons. Let's say you launch out a live lesson for your students. I'm going to show you the teacher screen on the left-hand side and the student experience on the right. As the instructor, I'll see my teacher dashboard with my students' responses as they're submitted in real time. As the student, I have to enable the microphone, and upon doing so, I can start recording audio. Jimmy emulates his dad by imitating him. I can play back that audio or delete it and redo it if needed. You can also add text into the activity. When the student submits their response, the response will come through to the teacher dashboard in real time. Once the teacher receives the audio, they can play the audio directly from their dashboard and they can access it from their reports. Let's go take a look. From the reports, the teacher has access to the audio file so they can play back and review later. If a student is submitting audio during a student-paced lesson, the instructor can review the audio responses along with the written responses in the post-session report. At the moment, this is only available in the web browser. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, please visit nearpod.com forward slash help.